Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss Deep Code question 443 that says string compression. So here you are given one character array uh, that is cares. So it is a character array and you need to compress it. Simple as it is. So how you can compress this character array? The thing is that uh, you start you will start with the empty string s and you will find group uh, that contains consecutive repeating characters. So you will uh, find such groups and uh, let's say if you have something like this a a b b c c c then you will make something like a2 b2 and c3 that means a is repeated twice b is repeated twice and c is repeated three times so yeah a2 b2 and c3 so that means you will take the character and after that you will insert the number the number of times this character is repeated consecutively and if it is repeated only once that is group length is one then only append the character so as you can see here the group length is only a so we won't write a one we simply write a but if it if it would be two times of a then we will write here a two i hope you guys understood the question okay the next thing it we do we want to do here is we need to modify the input array and return the new length of the array so so this is the modification right and this modification we need to do in this character array itself and at the end we need to return the length of the new modified array so here it length would be six so that's why we return six and we uh, and after also we modified this to like this a2 b2 c3 we modified this uh, character array to something like this based on the answer we have formed so if you take a look at this example here you have a one time and b 12 times so that's why we return uh, something like so this is something like this our answer a one time so only a and b 12 times so b and 12 so the length of this is uh, 4 okay and then we also modified this to this a b 1 2 so that means a b 12 okay so this is a pretty much simple question nothing much to apply uh, for logical intuition we will go with the brute, for uh, brute force approach so here in this approach what we did as the equation says take the empty string s then check for consecutive repeating characters so we took one previous character its frequency is 1 and we started from i equal to 1 because see, the index 0 character is already stored in the previous so if the character i is equal to previous then we simply increment the frequency okay and else uh, then we what do in the else we simply append that character to s and if the frequency is greater than one then we append the count of the character to this s correct see this is the second step append the character followed by the group length so this is the group length okay that is the frequency is the group length and for the new character i we make previous point to character of i and uh, again make the pre uh, previous frequency to one got it and yeah for the last character we all have to also handle that so yeah we again wrote this code this complete code at the end for the last character and then as the question says that we need to modify uh, this input character cares input vector cares so this modified input array input character array so what we did we, uh, we first clear all the elements and then in our words as this s contains our answer something like this a2 b2 c3 so we push each character of this s into these characters like this so we make cares to something like this okay a comma 2 comma b comma 2 comma c comma 3 based on this so yeah and at the end we return s dot size that is the size of the string s so this is a pretty much brute force approach so here the time complexity would be um, big of n as we are traversing for all the n elements time complexity is big of n and the space complexity here would be big of 1 as we are not showing any n elements okay this is a simple string simple character uh, simple variable okay only one string that we have used for extra space now there is some better approach to this see here we are using this string storing the answer in the string and then again iterating and pushing the answer here in this uh, cares vector so we can do this step along with this step means we can combine this along with this complete thing how so here one is i and we will uh, along with this we will keep one pointer j so this j will keep a point to this cares array and instead of uh, uh, doing and pushing the element at the end we will do that simultaneously so let me show you the code so this is the code for that see as i have told you that uh, we will keep one j also that will store the characters along with its frequency in the cares array correct so yeah let me show you that let's say you have this example let me again write to a a b b c c c so here we first we will traverse how many times a is repeating a is repeating two times so this count become what this count become two then what we do we push 
character of 0 equal to letter. The letter is what? The letter is A. Then what we do? Then we read J plus plus. See, this is a post week increment, post week increment. Yeah? So at character of 1, what we will push? We will push the first character of the count. The first character of the count is 2. Okay. See, here we are traversing this uh, count by converting it to two string. So if our count would be, let's say 12. So the first we will push A1 and then 2. Simple as it is. Nothing complex here. Okay. Then we will again traverse, right, for the next character. So for the next character is B. So we will push character of 2 equal to B. And then uh, we will again push the count. Count is 2. So we will again push 2. So this is why we will loop until all the characters of this character's array are not uh, travels, right? And the last element pointing would be uh, the jth element, correct? Because by using this j pointer, we are storing into the characters, this character's array. We are simply modifying this character's array using this j. So what, what would be the size of this j? What would be the size of this character? So this character size would be as uh, the j value of the j because this is a pointer, right? So yeah, here what we did, we modified this we did this modify the input array along with that we also we uh, also did this append the character followed by the group length we did both the thing at once so yeah this is a better approach for this and the time complexity here is also big of n and space complexity is big of one so yeah, that's all for this video make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you